Hi. I thought I'd do a little video uh, to sort of uh, go through at what point do I know when my paintings are done. So I'm clearly uh, still torturing myself and working on this crowd distraction. Uh, however, I am stubborn. My last name is Butters. My family crest is two rams headbutting each other. So I'm pushing through this. I'm not willing to give up. Um, so there are a lot of things that I am starting to appreciate more and more. And I think that by, by doing these videos, it also helps like remind me what I'm looking for. Because my art is not um, realism, I'm not working from, like, I can use a photograph as a reference, but I'm not tied to it, nor do I want to be tied to it. So I'm basically just pushing paint around until I can find a composition that um, excites me, that I appreciate, uh, that I can work with and can explore with. So when I'm nearing what I think to be the end, <laughs> which is kind of like the juncture, this is a juncture, it's not, an, it's not a stop sign, it's not an end point, it's not my destination, but maybe it is, I don't really know. Um, I go through a lot of things in my head where I'm looking for marks that are having relationships with other marks and... Um, values that speak to other values like if you think of your values as like you know you've got your lightest lights and your darkest darks um and then you've got your sh shades of gray i don't really want everything to be a perfect ratio of like you know um a certain percentage if the percentage is if you look at everything as a, as a pie, I don't want every piece of pie to be the same size. I want big chunks, big pieces of pie, smaller pieces of pie. Uh, so, for example, in here, I think that, uh, you know, I definitely have a lot of lights going on, even though it's a darker painting. But at one point, I had too much of variation in the grayscale. Um, I took a photograph of this in black and white, which I think I might share with you on Instagram, and that's when I really realized that I was really happy with what was going on on my grayscale. And grayscale is kind of hard to deal with when you're trying to, when you're seeing color, but you're trying to translate color into, um, into gray. My other thing too is um, when I get too uh, tight, um, my, if my marks aren't loose and generous, then it starts to feel really contrived to me, like I'm trying too hard. I mean, even though I, I am, I'm, I'm struggling, I'm beating my head against the wall right now, but that is part of what happens when, when one, well, when I... <laughs> stop painting for a while. It's really, you know, the first, you make crap at the beginning and then you work through it just like anything else. So, and the reason why I took a, like this is funny, this is like some of my older work, I'm just looking at me. So, that is like more what the eye sees, but I'm abandoning this concept to try to trust my intuition, my intuition more this is not as abstracted as I would like to see it. I need to push myself a bit more. Um, but that just comes through uh, confidence and, um, and work, quite frankly. So maybe if I am able to pull up my big girl panties and start making some good work and actually, like, you know, um, enjoy it uh, because, you know, uh, it's hard to do something if you... If, if you hate doing it, <laughs> uh, that doesn't last forever. I'm rambling. So, um, I've got shapes, I've 
I've got line. Um, this is not. Uh, I I don't think that I have uh, you know a conflict with like this is not a line. This is not a painting about line. Um, this is another one that's on my other wall that is like really about line and it's like also kind of about color and it's stressing my eyes out because color is competing with line and it's the same thing about that pie. You have to have all these design elements but the design elements can't all be like the same shape, same shape of, uh, or size of, of pie. <sighs> so anyhow, uh, here I am. I think I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm looking forward to Monday where I'm gonna strip this wall completely and just staple a big canvas and just go balls to the wall. Uh, you know, I'll get there. I'm not worried about it. It just pisses me off when I feel like I'm making crap. But uh, but I'll also, you have to kind of like remember to embrace that feeling because if you don't, then you're not really challenging. Yeah? Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? I told you you don't have to ask me about your calendar. You can you can have a chocolate from your calendar anytime you want. Only the day of though. Don't have tomorrow. Uh, add that calendar. He doesn't understand that he doesn't have to ask me to have anything. Um, yeah, he's home sick because he has a cold. We're waiting to see if it's coronavirus. <laughs> I keep smelling things <laughs> to make sure that, that I don't. And you know what? <laughs> yeah, that water stinks, so I think I'm pretty good. <sighs> so, um, the, the negative space is not as exaggerated as I would like to see it. You know, that sort of was one of my goals. This is the stage where I probably want to like write down all the talking points on my wall so I don't veer too off track and get caught up in little things that are really not important. Um, all my shapes are, are varied. Uh, nothing's too much the same. Um, so it's, it's an okay start. And, and like I was saying, I think I need to accept the fact that, um, if, if you don't go through these hard times, it's possible that maybe you're not working hard enough. And so, I mean, it shouldn't always be painstaking, but you need to get kind of go through these motions, hurdles. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I think that that's probably, probably it for now. Uh, I'm going to sit with it for a while, but you know, I'll do, uh, I'll stage it and see what it looks like in a room. Pandemic Friday, everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make some cookies later, I think. I bought these cookie cutters. They're like a cat's butt. <laughs> because if you can't laugh, then what's the point? <laughs> Just the shit time. Um... Yeah, and obviously I'm trying to get myself out of a pandemic funk, so, you know, it's normal. I mean, everybody's going through it. I think creative, uh, the problem is, is that, well, myself, I'm a very emotional person. I'm very expressive, so I feel that maybe I feel things not differently, but more intensely, so, um, you know, it was, it was, I'm exhausted just thinking about the last 10 months. So I'm just waiting for my sauna to arrive and I'm planning on sweating out the stress for the rest of the winter and 
being healthy. I moved my gym in my studio. Okay, I know I'm just rambling for the sake of rambling now, so I'm gonna go. Hope everybody's doing good. Um, yeah. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for messaging. I I do enjoy this aspect of my life. So thank you for being part of it. Happy Friday. Stay safe and healthy. But have fun too. Don't be too good. That's not good. That's a well-behaved woman never made history. <laughs>